ready for battle. All right, let's do this. What's up, everyone? Empowered Q's here, bringing you some more League of Legends action. We are playing against some Scion in the top lane. So it should be a pretty interesting matchup. The big thing here, like a lot of uh, big, bigger tank matchups, is your goal here is to live and outscale. Um, and that's the other thing is your Q interrupts his decimated smash, so you definitely want to take advantage of that whenever he tries to use it. God. <laughs> but yeah, that's what he's going to do is just poke us out. Uh, the way I see us dying a lot is being CC chained by Scion and then being killed by the enemy Rengar. So we'll see how it goes. I thought I leveled up my Q. I did not. So you want to use your Q to kind of jump away from a lot of those moves. Mm, I disagree. Luckily, that's getting nerfed. <laughs> get this last CS. So back away. I'm going to try and get a ward here. I can come down for this Rift Scuttler. Okay. No sign of Rengar. For my next trade, I'm probably going to pop Potion. This is going to slow push back out to me. Perfect. Nice. So yeah, like I said, all right, I took a Bone Plating and some more defensive runes too. Just as I said, this is going to be a little bit of a tough lane at the start, but I should jump for that. Rough times. Gotta be careful for Rengar. This is gonna slow push out to me, so I'm just gonna heal up. Surprise. Luckily, Eve has got me some really nice vision. Pop out. I thought I had popped a potion already. Hm. So yeah, gotta be super careful. First, no. Good job. I'm just gonna let this slow push. I can get this one since you walk toward. Rewarded. Alright, we know where Rengar is. He's going in deep. Bring it on. Good job. Okay. We're gonna have to wait for a wave to reset. She should have it. Flash, bitch. Ah, uh, I hate you. It was worth a try. Got his flash out. Let me add I went aggro for because I thought Eve would have enough damage. Traded flash for flash at least. And this gives me an opportunity to kind of push him back. I really wish she would have waited another second, but... Science should be teleporting back in, so I want to get this shoved. Miss a couple CS, it's cool. It's cool. That should crash into tower. I don't think he can hold it. Yeah, he's gonna just shove. Cool. Um, I think I'm going to go for my sheen first. That'll give me some boots, some health, all the stuff that I want. Yeah, it's an even minion wave on his side, so it's gonna push out. Like I said, the objective here is definitely to uh, just survive lane. Also going to definitely go Merc Treads this game. Slow, snare, stun, slow, snare, polymorph. Ready All the things a Jax player loves. Only down three, uh, 5 CS, 5 or 6 CS too, so that's not too bad. So this is a pretty heavy pokey lane, so it's a little tough to... At least stay in XP range. No reason to get too close. I'm never gonna. He is good with that. I'll give him that. Let me at him. All right, I'd be careful because I don't have a ward. If he walks towards me, I know Rengar's probably here. All right, he's got his level six now, so that's gonna be a little bit more challenge. <laughs> you gotta dodge that. I hate that hitbox. It's so cancer. 
That's cool though. Surprise! I'm back. Oh, if he's back in. Yeah, he's back in. Oh god. Back up. See if I can get it uh Ah! Oh, there's Rengar. I'm out. An ally has been slain. Yikes. I tried. At least I traded one for one there. Um, definitely gonna build a little bit of magic resist and get one of these. Ready. Battle. Kind of an awkward spot for the wave, but I felt like we could turn around a little better, a little bit better. I almost had the gin. I think he had like one health left, but at least I got the uh, I got the shutdown gold on Lulu. So how's the team doing? A little down, a little fed. That's all right. Bring it on. This could have been a much better minion wave for me, but. I'll let the slow push. He doesn't have his ultimate, so I should be in a little bit of a better spot here for a second. So I want to tease him off the wave. Alright, so that hitbox is so cancer. <laughs> a little bit of poke on him. Though none of it sticks because of that stupid shield. But he doesn't have much mana, so I think I'm. I think I'm okay. Gotta be careful, I don't have vision. Yep, see, now I want to be able to do that. Oh. Well, Rengar was up here, he just killed Avalon. Rengar's just gonna kill everybody. Alright, cool. Grab this. Head back top. I don't think Rift Scuttler was up. Got Ward here. We see Rengar. We got uh, Cyan nice and low, so I think he has to back. Yeah. I'm gonna shove this wave in. Try to punish him for the back. Because he already used Teleport. He has a couple more minutes on that. We know that. Try to get some tower pressure. Ready. I'll take it. An enemy has been nice. Seen. Might be just coming back to lane. Yep. That's gonna slow push back out to me, and plus he has Bomby Cinder now, so. I think I could get Math. I think I get both this and my boots. Math. Yes! Surprise. I can Math! Now I can go Random Wind's Omen as a defensive item. That'll be my defensive item against the Jin and the Rengar, so I'll get health and armor for both, and then the uh, crit resistance for Jin. Ready. I don't know if he's going for a rift. I want to push this lane out and check. Now it's my turn. Might just be grabbing the scuttler. It's on. Yeah, probably just the scuttler. I gotta be careful, I don't have a ward. Make sure my conqueror is up before I decide to go in for a trade. See, now I'm starting to get some damage that sticks. But like I said, I just gotta not be CC chained into the Rengar. See, 
Start to get some nice trades on him. Eventually, I just overpower him. Um, I don't see Rengar. If he backs, then I can shove. Okay, he backed. You can hear the noise. Alright, he's getting... Oh, he's using TP. Nice. I want to push this real quick. Nice. Okay. I was looking for the TP play right here. That's why I hard shoved it real quick. Awkward. Well, I'll buy the uh, crystal. Normally, I don't like to buy the sapphire crystal because I don't really ever need just the mana. But... It wasn't the best uh, shove of the wave either, but like I said, I wanted to make sure that had I teleported, um, it wasn't in an awful spot. Better to lose one wave than let him get a freeze right outside a tower. Nice little ocean dragon. Damn it. Oh god. I was gonna jump to it if I had to. I tried. I did not expect also Rangar to be there. An enemy has been slain. Oh, Rangar. I thought I could save the uh the Zoe, but she died way too quickly because Bran does a shit ton of damage. Oh. Cool. So I can grab plant. Had to pull my flash for that, which really sucks. But... Let's tease him away from the wave. Kind of a slow game at the moment, but like I said, our, our goal here is just to scale anyways. Hold this wave. Team is rocking it. See, he knows that I just plan on jumping on him. And that I can actually start the trade now. It's on. Let's go shove this in. My team's putting a lot of pressure, so... Get the Rift Scuttler. Evelyn with the hard carry. <laughs> nice. He's back in now. Who's next? Push us in. And you'll either have to teleport or alt back to lane. And if he's ulted back to lane, can't ult to me. Push another wave. Get hit by a tower shot, you know. Sometimes I hate the towers. Like, come on. Are you okay? Are you okay? <laughs> This could still potentially be a problem later. That's the, uh... Are you okay? That's the thing about Brand is I've seen brands that are like 0 and 5 0 in support and then still dish out a thousand damage per second. Like... Alright, I'm gonna try and get some pressure on top tower. I don't have teleport, so they gotta watch out for Scion Initiation. Rengar, so I gotta be careful. I think he's gonna go for Tristana, though. Alright. Let's get a little love tap in there. A little love tap. My control ward over here. 
Ward. Scion does have a level up on me, so I gotta be a little bit careful. Oh, dodged it out, buddy. See you later. No, 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 no. Nope, see you later. I'm out. Speaking of brand. Look how much damage that does. Jeez, already. Gonna need me some magic resistance. It's on. I am ready. As long as I have help, I am down with the funky stuff. Yeah, just need to get in front of the alt. As long as he doesn't get to alt away, then we're good. Oh, I wanted the minion. Nice. Head back to top lane. I said slower game, but um, honestly, not a whole lot I can do about that. Scion is like a truck, but you'll see that as as it continues to go on. The harder it will be for him to kill me, and the more pressure I'll have on him. Even if I never kill him, and the split push, I pretty much take out all of his usefulness. Because his thing is, he wants to team fight, be a CC train, use his alt, and not die. So the more I force him in the lane, the better. Got a little Shelly action. What's up, Shelly? Gonna help me take out this tower. So they're pressuring Dragon, so I can pressure up here. I gotta be careful because they don't have a lot of vision. But they are all bottom. And it's an Ocean Drake. I think it's better to take the tower. Hello, Brand. Nope, I'm probably dead. Legendary. It's on. Whoopsies! So, uh, definitely can't tank through Brand and Tower. Holy crap, that's so much damage. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna get my Spirit Visage so I don't <laughs> get insta killed. I'll probably just build the Spirit Visage and turn it into something else later. Um, uh, who do we have on our team? Probably just go Adaptive Helm. He does the constant poke like flare damage, so. Let me add him. We okay? We okay. Right. We are very okay. Bring it on. the tower. Nice. I have my TP if I need it. Surprise, I pressure this wave. Top's already pushing, so I want to be pushing on this side. Yeah, uh, between Scion CC, Polymorph, Stun, Brand, I don't really think uh, I want to team fight. I'm being straightforward here. I don't think it's going to be beneficial. I think I'm just going to get CC'd, so if the best I do is push the waves, I take Scion away from the team, and clearly my team can handle everything else. So Scion's going to be the, the difference maker in a team fight form, so. Or if I take Rengar away, he's going to one-shot somebody. Grab a little ward here action. I'm back to join my team. Nice. Cool. So as soon as Rengar backs, I can push this wave again. Pressure wave. And then as soon as this wave's up, if you look top lane, you see a nice juicy wave forming right up here. We get some pressure. After this tower, run top, collect that. Easy peasy. Tristana's gonna collect. That's okay. She's doing well, I don't mind. But same principle applies. Cool this. 
Like I said, super, uh, let's say boring game for me, but I can get my Tiamat Legendary. Let me add up. and a control ward. <laughs> He's so mad. Uh, it's so funny. Yeah, why not? I'm for it. Oh, I got one. Oh my god, Tower, get off my face! I want to do third kill, finally! I'm just gonna hit my E when he jumps. I'll take it. I wanted another kill. It's hard because I have one second until I can actually reactivate my, uh... I got older. Oh, the temptation is so strong. I got the healing from red buff, so... I still have my ultimate. There's four of them, so that's a really stupid idea. But I still wanna. Like I said, it's gonna get to that point where he just, because he didn't get kills or do anything, he's not very useful. So, just outscale. Yeah, I'm gonna grab the inhibitor. Very nice. Ton of gold. I could probably get my Titanic. Six and now. I couldn't save the Morgana. I'm sorry. I love you. <laughs> the six and all. <laughs> 1600. Can I get 12? Cool. This will be for my sterics. Probably get a rage blade after. I'm just gonna go standard Jax stuff. When Rengar are alt scares no one. Yeah, it's, it's GG. This Evelyn is insane. But yeah, like I said, it, not the most entertaining lane, but I know a couple people have been asking me about how to play tank matchups, and that's a big one. It's just honestly surviving lane, and then uh, outscaling. Come to daddy? No. Bring it on. Shoop. Let's get the Dargan. Dragon Baron. Yeah, the thing with three inhibitors, with what happens, is it becomes very hard to clear all the minions because each wave spawns two super minions, and they have a debuff that grants nearby minions 70% increased damage, um, magic resist, and armor, and that actually gives it to themselves, so they become even stronger. When you get like six of those bad boys, it's like...
They are uh, doing some crazy things to crit items. Looks like they're kind of nerfing um, the ability for crit-based ADCs to just two-shot squishies. It's going to look like it's going to convert some of it to true damage. We'll see if uh, it actually goes through, though. It's PvE stuff. We just walk this right in. Not die! <laughs> I was standing in too much uh, brand stuff. The minions are gonna win us the game, anyways. But I got the six and zero, oh, so. <laughs> Not too bad. Not too bad. So like I said, yeah, early game on those matchups is just not super exciting. Um, your goal is to scale, and then once I get my items, I become unstoppable in the uh, split push. Um, and they can't match me, or they have to send two people. Ooh, almost either or. 200 blue essence. Um, but then, yeah, you just start doing ridiculous stuff. I could really easily pop this guy, even though a decent amount of them were pretty weak. Um, even if my team had not been fed, I would have had a lot of the same strategy. So, yeah. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that one. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, all that good jazz. Definitely appreciate it. You can also check out my Twitch info. Come hang out while we record, and I'll catch you next time. Peace.